This intro needs more centipede. Oh, welcome back, guys, to Pixel Hack episode 12 of the Pixel Hack SMP server. Alright, so last episode, it was kind of a rant episode or just talking about some life stuff and stuff like that. Um, I kind of missed out or missed some things, but we're not going to talk about that, or at least not in depth, but. I'm kind of just going to say it and then whatever, but today what we're going to do is we're going to actually start laying out plans for the bat cave. Um, I don't really want to move too far from here because this is my work shed and I kind of want to base everything around here. Um, you know, there's just so many ideas that we could do. I mean, because I've... Oh, hey buddy. Uh, one of the things that I've been thinking about is I wanted to make a village like this kind of a village place and this would be like the main area um, but I'm not sure if I want to do that still I might take these two out make this a door make this or yeah make this part a door too because it kind of looks weird with just this one door um, but anyway so this place is kind of a good spot to do this because it's bigger and it has plenty of space um, but the back cave is kind of underground so I'm not sure what to do with that. So let's go investigate here. Uh, I did build my initial like starting place here. So this is kind of a mess right now. But yeah, because I had my portals here and whatnot. But what we can do is we can either dig down or just hollow this out. Um, but we'll have to figure out a way to hide this place. I think I know what we can do too. Uh, here, let me go show you guys something real quick. Oh, actually, no, I can't. Never mind, I lied. So, because what we could do is we could do the little painting trick. Hmm, actually, that'd be a great idea. There'd just be so much work to do to dig that out, and I don't really want to do it on tape either. Uh, plus, it's kind of late right now, and I don't want to spend the time to do it tonight because it'll take me about two or three hours. And I'll be tired, and then I won't want to finish the recording. So, and I got to work tomorrow, so. Let's just do it now. We'll figure it out what we're going to do. But, um, actually, you know what we could do? Is we could figure out something to do for the villager idea. So, we had a village... Let's actually go check this out. Uh, we had a village over here, but it got wrecked by zombies. So, I don't think that's really a possibility. I don't know what it is lately, but... I've been getting really bad FPS on Minecraft. Uh, normally, I'd get about 29, 30, but now it's like dropping down to the 20s. Not sure why. Whatever. Um, so let's see here. Ah, oh, man, this kind of sucks, man. This there was a whole bunch of villagers here. Yeah, there's no villagers here anymore. So that kind of sucks. I went through, raided everything here. Um, there's still some wheat over here. There's still some potatoes. There's so much that we can do. And I just don't know what to do. Uh, I need redstone too, I think. And I still need to go on a caving adventure uh, to get some supplies. I didn't actually check this way. I went towards that way to see if there was anything there, but there obviously wasn't. Because seeing as to being a savannah obviously sucks for finding caves. Um, maybe we can go through here and maybe find a temple or something. Or even another village. That'd be actually fantastic if we could find another village. So... But anyway, uh, one of the quick things that I wanted to talk about is I didn't talk to anyone about this yet. Uh, I think I mentioned it in the in the podcast last weekend. But um, oh, speaking of which, I have to do that tomorrow. I think I'm yeah okay. I'll still have time for it. But um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to set up an application for Pixelock Junior. and. If you guys don't know what Pixel Hack Jr. is, I'm not going to explain it. it. There's too much to explain. There's a lot to it. Um, but basically what it is, personally, I think it's going to be a sub-network of something. I don't know. I don't know if we can talk to Sebastian and... Oh my god, stop lagging! <laughs> but um, <laughs> I, I was kind of thinking of making it a sub-network of Paragon, or at least a try to give us the ability to manage them through i don't know we'll have to figure it out i'm not gonna worry about that right now but i will set up the web page tomorrow i think and i will start accepting applications and stuff we will start accepting applications and whatnot 
it just, it'll just take me a little bit of time to get that all set up and working. Um, and if you guys haven't been staying updated on the website, I've been working on it. It's still a rough draft, very much a rough draft. Uh, the code is very, very messy, but you know, it's get, it's coming together fairly well. I, I'd say um, just a few things I need to work on here and there, and we'll get it all figured out. But let's see here. I don't see anything quite yet. I might have missed something. You guys are probably telling me I missed something, but then again, this is a pretty big desert. Let's see. Let's go over here for a second. I feel like every time I do that, I feel like I'm always missing something in the other direction or something, but I don't know. Alright, there's a mush uh, roof forest over there. I don't want to go that way. But, so, I guess I can talk about the applications a little bit, but the applications, they're going to be not strict, but they're going to be very... I don't know specific as far as what we expect and I hate to do that to people because I know there's a lot of talent in a lot of people out there but it's just when people come to us you know they expect that we'll just give them open arms and you know oh yeah you can join totally sure why not that's not the case you know I hate to be that guy and say no but if it's more so a how do I don't want to say this it's think of it as a business I guess think of all right yeah think of it like this okay we're we're the hiring managers right and you know pe hundreds well not hundreds but tens of people come to us every day or at least a lot and ask us to join pixel hack now we don't have a problem with people asking it's just when people get annoying about it is when we start, you know, to really lock down and say, you know what, if you keep persistently asking, that's when we draw the line. So that's this. That's kind of how you have to look at it. And we have strict, well, not strict. We have guidelines that we have to follow, you know, to make sure that one, we don't have members that drop down, <coughs> Cobra, um, uh, drop out, and others that just don't contribute, you know. We had we had a few members that we really wa didn't want them to leave because um, they had a lot of potential, but they just lacked the motivation to do it. And it's not really their fault. Well, I mean, it is their fault, but it's it's really just it takes a special kind of person to be able to do what we do. I mean, a lot of people say that they can do it. There's some people that just can't do it. They're just fucking retarded. They should just quit life and never come back. I'm just kidding. Um God, I'm going to stop talking now. Let's see here. All right, there's no villagers here, man. I'm going to have to find one on my off time because, man, I should have protected this village off the get-go because this, this, this could have saved me a lot of time, and I could have got a lot of good trades here. But um, let's head back to base here. You know what? And there's still a lot to this cave, too, that I could explore because that, that cave down there was massive. It was huge. But... So, I kind of was thinking... I don't want to make... Well, I do want to make an iron farm. That's... Mm. Or... What we could do... Now, this is just two whole huge projects. But I, then again, I do want to have big projects that probably will never get finished. Because then it gives me something to do when I record. Um, but we could do... Like a floating island farm island thing, Maboober. That just basically has everything that we need on it. And then our bat cave inside here, our work shed to kind of just signify that we live here. So, I guess let's go ahead and get started working on that, on the on this thing here. Um, let's actually go up here real quick. I want to kind of map things out here a little bit and see what we can do with it. So, Bambi uploaded his first Pixel Hack episode today. And it was actually really good. I, I was really surprised. Um, well, I wasn't really surprised. I was more so just like, oh, hey, finally uploaded one, finally. Um, but, no, it was really cool. I watched it, and it was really good. So I found it very entertaining. So if you guys want to check it out, head over to his channel. His channel will be in the description. But um, let's see here. Oh, this is perfect. Because this is kind of like a peak right here, and it kind of peaks out, and then you can just come out like that. Um, let's see, how do we want to do this? We could do it, like, with logs. I kind of want to make it three wide, so... Let's see here. I'm just going to make one a workbench real quick. 
Alright. Let's see here. Try to ignore the noises in the background. People are in my house right now. Um, let's see here. We'll just do that. Grab a couple of these. Oops. That's fine. Okay. So, let's see here. Alright, I kind of want to right here. So, what we can do... Do this. That. Just kind of make it kind of blend in with the the grass here. Hmm. That almost would look better like that. Um, let's see here. Do this. Well, it's got to be even, too. Well, no, it doesn't, because, I mean, we can make it however... Let's see here. This is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Oh, no. Odd numbers. Odd numbers. Odd numbers. Odd numbers. Odd numbers. You guys are probably asking me, why did you just repeat odd numbers over and over and over again? Because I do what I want. You don't tell me what to do with my life. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> whenever you're working with building in this game odd numbers i'm not even joking you it's so helpful this is why i hate children people this is why i hate kids okay they're annoying as hell and i want to stab them and i sincerely well not sincerely mean stab them but i do want to punch them all in the face very hard as hard as i can because i don't like kids i i really don't and i hate to say that but it's it's true i just I find kids very repulsive and annoying. <laughs> Some people are like, oh my god, you're such a bad person. Uh, sorry. Let's see here. Because I won't get that back to... Fuck. Fuck. Uh, let's see here. It's going to be nighttime too. Alright, screw it. Let's go back here. But, let's see here. Let's, let's actually take a look at what this looks like for a second. That looks pretty decent from down here. Um, yeah, it kind of looks pretty nice. And I want to increase it a little bit to kind of go up, and then the island will be right there. So let's head back to base here. And we'll take our little sleepy sleep. Actually, your nightmare is on. Your Sphinx is on. Uh, so I guess some people would probably ask, like, oh, would you guys um, let us play on the Pixelic main server? No. The reason why... <laughs> oh my god, Spix. Um, <laughs> but the reason why we don't want that is because we don't want them... It's, base, it's not because we don't trust you. It's more so because we don't want to have conflictions with, of land and stuff with not only the members of Pixel Hack, but Pixel Hack Jr. Because uh, a lot of... I feel... It's not, like I said, it's not because we don't trust you. It's simply because we just don't want people to have to, you know, worry about, oh, is this guy going to build on my land and stuff like that. We just, we wanted to keep it simple and straight to the point. So, you guys will have your own, Pixel Hawk Jr. will have their own thing and they will all be doing their own stuff on their own world, on their own server. So, um, the guy that will be managing it will be me, uh, since I already managed the Pixel Hawk server. No one else on the server has op or server access but me. Uh, we decided to keep it that way just because we didn't want people having access to the server. To server? Server. Um, and then screwing things up for everyone else, so. Oh, shit! Why didn't you pick it up? You freaking butthole. So this is, <laughs> this is going to be interesting to build here. I'm not sure how, how far I want this to come out. I kind of want to come out fairly far with it. And I might change this up with wood too. Hmm. Let's see here. Well, so let's take this out a little bit more here. I don't know if I want to do this like threes. Hmm. I wonder what else would look cool too. Oh my toaf. Come on. Thank you, Minecraft, for being my friend. I really appreciate that. Okay. I wonder. I'm just experimenting now. Hold on a second. Let's see here. Because we could have support beams. Let's see which one looks better here. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Hmm, the acacia looks pretty decent. Let's here, hold on a second. Let me go back to base here. Yeah, that would look pretty cool with the support beams and then having um 
still the um, wood fences on the side here. I'm going to actually go back and grab more wood here. But, oh, excuse me. I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, I totally forgot what I was saying. Um, I'm not sure what I, how, how big I want to make the island. I, th I want to make it fairly big, though. Big enough to where I can fit as many things as I want. Uh, I still want to keep these down here just for, like, instant access. But, for the most part, I want to have everything up there. Ooh, kind of running kind of low here. I wanted to grab some oak wood anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, let's grab this. Actually, no, I need that on my bar still. Thanks, guy. Actually, need to eat. Okay. Why am I running out of so much food so quickly? This is retarded. Um, yeah. I think with... Yeah, that'd look pretty decent, I guess. It'd look pretty tough. Mm, I'm not sure how this is going to look with the oak, either. I don't know. The orange kind of stands out, too. I feel like that stands out too much, and it doesn't really resent, represent darkness very well, which is kind of our persona. Kind of, We're kind of dark. Um, not in reality. We're actually... I'm actually fairly... Well, unless you count listening to Deathcore really, like, I don't know, friendly... <laughs> most people are afraid of me because of that or well not afraid of me but most people kind of like look at me funny when I tell them I listen to death metal or death core um, and it's really not that bad I mean yeah they talk about some pretty dark things it's not it doesn't mean that you're a bad person mm, the oak wood looks pretty cool I guess I want to check something out here though I wonder... I'm just going to convert all of it. Whatever. Alright, let's see here. I just want to do a few of them just to see what it'll look like. Alright, let's see here. Compare them side by side. Get all this out of the way here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's take out this entire first row. And... I feel like the dark oak with the acacia um, logs would look really cool. Or at least pretty decent. Yeah, that kind of gives it a good texture, too. This kind of looks stupid on top of it, but hold on a second. Let's see here. And I know this... Plus stone looks really sick. All right, let's see here. Um, just do that. Boom. Do this. I'm kind of nervous right now because I don't want to fall, break my ankles. Just kidding, I won't break my ankles. This is Minecraft. What are you talking about? Let's see here. All right. So we do a little of that. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. That looks pretty decent, actually. Let's see here. It looks just retarded. It looks stupid right now because of the... Oh, my God. My mouse has been... <sighs> I need to buy a new mouse because my mouse has been acting like a fool lately. So, I need to exchange it for a new one. thinking about getting a Logitech G700S. thinking. I think that'll be nice. Oh. Whoops. Let's see here. Bloop, bloop, and bloop. Alright. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, it looks alright. Now, how about if we did... Between those two right there, if we did like a fencing down the center of it. Just do some of that. And then... Do some sticks. Uh, bloop, bloop, bloop. Do that. Alright. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, yeah, that looks really cool. I don't know if I want to do every other or do like every other three or two or th yeah, two or three. I'm thinking. Because we could do space, space, wood, space, space, wood. Yeah, because eventually it, it, those um, pillars would get fairly long. 
Or we could do like support beams instead of having these there. Oh no, you'd, yeah, you'd still need them because then it, it wouldn't make sense um, uh, structurally. <laughs> I'm talking about structure, what am I talking about? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the dark oak wood. I think it looks the best. Um, I think I'll just save the slabs for something else. For what? I honestly have no clue. Your guess is just as good as mine. It could be for anything, really. But acacia wood, we're going to need a lot of it. We're going to need a lot of the dark wood. And I think there was a lot that way, if I'm not mistaken. There was a few that way, but it was kind of farther distance-wise. So we'll have to find another spot. But we're actually over our time limit right now. But I will look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. And hopefully with some more information regarding anything, really. Uh, hopefully Pixel like Jr. And hopefully you guys will start being a, will be able to fill out your applications for that if you guys are interested. So, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. If you guys aren't subscribed, please leave or hit that subscribe button. And if you guys haven't checked out our website, feel free to check it out. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.